Okay, no job number yet, but this is um, for Redmond Ridge ROA. I've actually done this project before for Tammy Meyer. I just I can't find the job number. So I'm gonna step out and show you what it looks like. This is their main kind of office area where there's a library and it's closed down right now. It dead ends right here. I think there's, I don't know if there's golfing back here or what, but this is a small little parking lot here. It needs to be cracked field, seal coat and striped, okay? Um, you'll see there's 18 inch fire lane stencils. I believe we came in here. We might have fixed some curbing. This might have been us right here. We might have done this little spot. But uh, maybe that's why I can't find it because it was a curb bid. Uh, but we're going to call this. It says it's a library. And it's off Northeast Marketplace Drive. At least that's what Northeast Marketplace Drive is. This is Cedar Park Crescent Northeast. So we're going to um, call this the Redmond Ridge uh, office Redmond Ridge office at 10735 Cedar Park Crest Northeast you'll see there's a sign right there down there a little ways is the community center this is where the seal coat starts right here goes in red painted fire lane curb uh, we'll have to do one day of power washing to uh, get the flakiness off the curbs and then we'll also need to power wash um, up on the face of the curb about two feet out or it's not the face of the curb, but on the surface in front of the curb, about two feet out. As you can see, all the seal coat wore off pretty quick at about two feet out in front of the curbing here. Okay, so we're going to make sure we clean it pretty good. Same thing over here. It all went away at about two to three feet, feet, two to three feet out away from the curbing. So not only let's, let's not only um, power wash the painted curb, but let's power wash the uh unpainted curb as well you don't have to do the wheel stops but you do need to do on the surface in front of them there's seal coat behind the wheel stops there seal coat behind the wheel stops there seal coat behind there like i said power wash painted curb and the regular curb and then <laughs> you can see all faded right here probably wasn't cleaned very good last time I don't know who did it last time, if it was our company or somebody else, but uh, we'll just say it was somebody else. <laughs> um, okay, so cleaning all the way up to there and then up against the building here. We don't have to go underneath the ramp or anything, but we'll get pretty close over there. Get this all cleaned. Uh, there'll be other bidders on this as well. Uh, there is some crack fill to do. You can see the old crack fill that's in here. Uh, is that real thick material so it's another company that came in here and did the crack fill we will have to touch up some areas in here but there's not much crack fill at all again probably only about a hundred feet of crack fill at the most okay so power wash one day seal coat and stripe the next day so it's just two days total one day one day to be out here power washing next day to be out here sealing and striping um, I just noticed this little piece right here. Um, so this is going to have to be an asphalt patcher crew out here. But let's fix this asphalt right here. So we're going to give a price, an asphalt price to fix basically uh, what's going to end up being about a 4x4 a four four patch here. Okay. Let me see if there's anything else to fix since we're out here and we got to get a minimum uh, amount of asphalt. Um, right here, there's a dip right here. So let's take care of this. This will be a four by four patch, which is uh, one, two, it's off the second stall out here towards the crack fill where they did this trenching. So a four by four patch there. Uh, let's see, any other areas? No, I think that's that's it for asphalt repair so we'll fix this actually let's make this bigger now that i'm on this side and see the reflection we're gonna have to make that bigger so let's end up making this a six by six because i see it sinking around the edges here okay let's do a six by six right here six by six patch three inch asphalt And then, of course, right here, we got this one. 
which I'm gonna see. We'll do a three by. Actually, we'll just no. We'll do a four by four. Four by four in that spot there. Got the material. All right. I think that's everything that's out here. No other repairs. Any questions? Let me know. Um, these are both ADA, so I'm gonna get the striping real quick. We've got two ADA stencils. Um, we've got 50 feet of 12 inch crosswalk bars there. And then we got uh, 14 stalls, 14 stalls at 18 feet. They don't want the stall lines to go all the way back to the sidewalk. You can see that they blacked them out. They only want them to go to the wheel stop. So when we go to stripe this back, we do not have to go past the wheel stop. We can stop right at the wheel stop, okay? Um, okay, and then there's 140 feet. 140 feet of red painted curb, and there are two sets of no parking fire lane stencils. That's it. Any other questions, let me know.